I don't think it's more difficult for diverse founders to be able to build companies. I think that there are issues with opportunities that are afforded and made available to diverse founders, but I really believe in individual agency and I believe in the power of an individual. My name is Zaleka Strasna. I'm the CEO and founder of Zero Grocery at zerogrocery.com. The first thing that I tell people is physically start something, do something. I meet a lot of individuals that have really good ideas and they sit with those ideas, they postulate on those ideas, but those ideas never come to fruition. I tell folks, if you want to start a housekeeping business, start cleaning houses. If you want to sell a product online, get an online store started, begin shipping that product. You will very, very quickly start to understand if your business is working and you'll start to understand what isn't working and start making changes. Starting a company is an iterative process. So that means the idea you have today, the small business you may be running today is not the business six weeks from now, six months from now, six years from now. Commit to this process and radically question everything that is happening and interview your customers, ask them questions and use that feedback as a constant loop to change the business. When I started my company, I didn't quit my job on the first day. I started working nights, I started working weekends, but all I could think about was my company. The minute you go from this being a side project or something you do in the evenings to something you dedicate your life's work to, that's when the shift truly happens. And that's when everybody around you also believes, particularly if you're asking for investment, that this is something you are committed to. And commitment is key to ensuring success. To start and scale a company, you need to be armed with information. You need to understand the market that you're trying to penetrate or the market that you are trying to create. That doesn't say you need to be an expert on the field, but if this is what you're trying to penetrate, scale, grow into, you need to have not only a good understanding of the market and what is happening, but form an opinion, have a thesis about how your company, how your work is going to make a shift or an impact within this particular market. My customers early on didn't tell me, you know what I would love? I would love a sustainability platform with the fastest online grocery delivery, same day, two hours. That's not what they told me. They told me their problems, their issues, and they would try the product that I put in front of them. But you must interview and speak to your customers regularly, constantly, particularly in the early days. What do you love? What do you hate? What do you think about this? How can I change this? Customer feedback is paramount to what you are doing. Invest in you. Ready, set, grow. CNBC and Acorns.